This is the worst thing I've seen on radar today, and uh, this is the storm. We're seeing shear at 161 miles per hour. That BTI at 7.9, max maximum gate-to-gate -gate velocity. All the radar will estimate here crossing Highway 78. This, of course, in Walker County, uh, moving toward Empire and Creel right now. Good, uh, very well-pronounced hook on this storm. Crossing Highway 78, crossing Highway 78 right now. We got Dennis Washington on the phone with us right now. He sees a, uh, a tornado. Where are you? Dennis, are you there? It's James Paul. JP, West, can you hear me? Yeah, we got you. Hey, that is a tornado. I don't know if you've seen my live video. The tornado is now crossing the river here. We're on Highway 11. The very large tornado now making its way to the north. Let's go to Tower Cam if we can. We I believe we have a that. view there. There you go. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah. yeah. There you got it. That's the shot right there. It's a massive tornado. I'm going to try to take it off. This is coming right towards us. Hey, Dennis. All right. Uh, there it is right there. Uh, uh, it's coming right at us, J.P. Yeah, this is, this is the one we were talking about. This is coming right toward downtown Tuscaloosa. This is going to be coming uh, toward downtown Tuscaloosa and the University of Alabama campus. We hold that camera there, uh, that, that uh, tornado. Uh, Dennis, I, I know his audio was breaking up, uh, but he said it's a very large tornado. He was apparently a little closer to it Yeah, that is a large-looking tornado right there, J J.P. That looks to be crossing, I believe, if we're pan there towards the southwest over 15th Street and Highway 11. That's going to be uh, around the BF Goodrich plant right there uh, around Tamco and uh, just south of the airport. That's going to be south of Hunt Oil. And, and let's stay, uh, Master Control, just kind of follow this to the left there. And uh, uh, JP, I believe we're still kind of aimed in that southwest direction. Yeah, we are. You know what? Just I want, I want to go down a, a list here of, uh, of communities uh, and how far this thing is from Tuscaloosa. Uh, within about five minutes, we're going to see this in downtown Tuscaloosa. Northport in about seven minutes. Seven minutes, Bryant-Denny Stadium. University Mall in about seven minutes. Uh, Tuscaloosa Middle School in about seven minutes. Cottondale within 11 minutes. A look at the cloud to ground lightning we, yeah. we're getting with this. This is a dangerous storm. Uh, get to your safe place if you're in Tuscaloosa right now. We are live uh, with a tornado moving into downtown Tuscaloosa right now. Continuous coverage here on Fox 6. Again, five minutes from uh, downtown Tuscaloosa, six minutes Bryant-Denny Stadium. And uh, that storm's going to be, if you're watching on downstream, uh, the Cottondale area within about the next 10 minutes. Dangerous storm there. We're going to hang with this for a little bit. Uh, I don't know if we got Dennis Washington, if we reestablished his connection. Uh, we might be able to talk to Dennis as, as he's very close to this storm. Uh, we were trying to get some video from his location. That is a large tornado. We're looking at uh, something there that's probably... Uh, you know, that may be, Wes, looking at half a mile wide. Yeah, that is a very large, uh, again, emergency situation there over eastern or western Tuscaloosa County. Yeah. It, this looks to be approaching where Stillman College would be on the west side of town around, uh, uh, I believe we still have uh, Dennis. Uh, okay, we've, hey, Wes. we've got Dennis tracking this tornado. Dennis, uh, can you hear us? And, and we've got yeah. your stream here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me. We're in the storm tracker right now. The storm is directly behind us, about a half a mile. We're headed north on Highway 11, approaching the Tuscaloosa area. This large tornado just crossed the river now into Tuscaloosa County, uh, past the Ralph Foster's area. Massive tornado. We saw a lot of debris spinning up around this storm. And as you pointed out, it is a wide tornado, at least a half a mile to maybe a mile wide at some point there. But a massive tornado now making its way towards the Tuscaloosa area. This storm's very strong. We're headed up uh, north on 11. The storm basically following us here in the 5-6 storm tracker. So we're going to try to get in a little better position up here and give you a better idea of what the storm looks like. All right, thanks a lot, Dennis, and, and, and we're going to kind of stay with you right there. If you're just now joining us, we've got a large tornado on the ground moving towards the city of Tuscaloosa. Uh, right now, this tornado is, is rolling across Highway 11. It's moving across the Black Warrior Parkway where the toll bridge is located uh, around the Tamco area, you know, where BF Goodrich is, Martin Luther King Drive, uh, Herman Avenue, places like that, Highway 11 on the west end of town around Stillman College. Uh, it's approaching you, and uh, this it looks to be tracking like it's going to be moving up around places like 15th Street. Uh, it's getting very close. And, and JP, I believe you're putting some uh, some of the streets on yeah, there. Uh, uh, Wes, let's. Uh, 
If we could, uh, you know, double box this or something, I want to show these uh, locations where this, uh, this uh, storm is going to be passing through momentarily. Black Warrior Parkway, U.S. Highway 11, as you mentioned, uh, within uh, about the next eight minutes, U.S. Highway 82, Rice Mine Road. Uh, it's going to impact Tuscaloosa Middle School, University Mall, 37th Street, uh, Calton Road, all of those areas, downtown Tuscaloosa, Bryant-Denny Stadium area, all will be impacted by this, uh, this tornado. Let's go back up to full screen, go back into, uh, this is our tower cam. Yeah, just going to watch that there. And, uh, yeah, that is a very large area there, JP. Uh, looks Although it looks, like it, it, it looks like it may have, it's not quite as organized as it was a few minutes ago, at least from yeah. what I'm seeing there. You're not seeing that, that well-defined funnel. Yeah, just trying to gauge where that is passing here. And that looks like that is going to be, again, where I talked about around Stillman College, uh, Martin Luther K uh, King area. It's, it looks like it's going to be tracking very close to the Tuscaloosa Police Department right there off of 359. Yeah. Uh, it's, going uh -huh. to, it's going to be crossing right there. And uh, that's probably going to put this uh, crossing uh, uh, just south of 15th Street, possibly. But anywhere right there along 15th Street where Midtown Shopping Center is, if you're located around the new Midtown University Mall, uh, you are in the path of this. And, and we've got Fred Hunter now live in Tuscaloosa. <laughs> Fred's on the ground. He can give us a, a better perspective of, of what he, where we're talking about here. Fred? Well, Wes, honestly, uh, I couldn't give a much better uh, description of where it is than uh, what you were able to, uh, to discern uh, from your vantage point. But I am looking uh, dead at this uh, storm, which is producing a possible tornado, uh, and, and very evident. Uh, the rotation now is... Uh, Okay, I believe okay. we might have lost Fred hey, right just, there, uh, JP. Just a quick update. We're not going to go away from the uh, the live video there, but uh, uh, we, we do have a brand new warning uh, in effect for southern portions of Coleman County right now. Violent tornado. Uh, this is the one that's coming out of Walker County, uh, Wes. It is moving toward uh, Blunt Springs. It is going to track. I'm going to give you some updated track information. Uh, Coleman County, uh, just want to give you this information. I know we've got the tornado moving into Tuscaloosa right now, but but uh, we're kind of doing two things at once here. Uh, Fox 6 tracker showing uh, storm moving toward Arkadelphia in three minutes. Violent tornado toward Blunt Springs in 10 minutes. Hayden within 10 minutes. And Center Community within 12 minutes. Sloan within two minutes. Arkadelphia three minutes. Uh, Black Bottom in eight minutes. Uh, tornado warning now in effect for Coleman <laughs> County. Dennis Washington is back hey, on the phone with us right now. Go ahead, Dennis. Hey guys, massive tornado now crossing the the uh, the, uh, uh, ferry, the toll road, the toll bridge uh, between the interstate and Highway 11 right now. Just saw it as we passed the uh, location. Been having some internet connection, so still trying to get this storm for you. But it is a massive tornado. I saw a lot of debris spinning up with this storm right now, and just making its way uh, into the Tuscaloosa area. Anybody in southern Tuscaloosa County, the southern portions of uh, the city of Tuscaloosa, you need to be in your safe place right now. This is a dangerous tornado now making its way into the Tuscaloosa area. Yeah, let's try to zoom in on that if we can, Master Control. Just kind of follow that and get a, get a tighter view. Yeah, uh, if, if we can zoom in on that, we can probably spot some debris from wow. this vantage point. This is going to track west. You know where this is going to go. This is going to, it's not going to. Keep going. Okay, okay. okay. Wow. Uh, it's not going to be too far off from the uh, damage path of that EF3 the other day, although this, look at that. Yeah, Th that is right over. Uh, this is not, a, this is more than an EF3 right here. I can tell you that right now. Hey, okay. guys, can you see my live video now? Uh, we've got some inc incredible aerial view here, uh, yep. Dennis. We're watching. Holy cow, guys. This is a massive tornado. This, Unbelievable. Yeah. This is, uh, we've got it on tower cam, Dennis, and it's coming okay. right toward downtown Tuscaloosa. Yes, it Look, is. did you see that? We just yeah. pulled a transformer. Yeah, this is right over 15th Street. Uh, uh, this has passed Stillman. This looks to be going right along uh, 15th Street right here. And uh, you see we're in downtown Tuscaloosa. There's the uh, courthouse you're looking at right there at the bottom of your screen. So this is going uh, just, it's going to cross 350 right there close to uh, 15th Street. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that is a very uh, dangerous tornado. I'm just trying to think of some areas I'm here. I'm telling JP. you, right um, now, if, if you're in, uh, in Tuscaloosa, you need to be in a safe place right now. I mean, it should go without saying, uh, this thing's going to come right at us. Uh, who knows what we're going to see. Look at the transformers yeah. blowing as this thing comes through southern Tuscaloosa. Uh, uh, well, not in Tuscaloosa. Tuscaloosa. 
Yeah, it's going right into Tuscaloosa Central High School. Uh, this is going to graze the UA campus. This is going to be crossing right there around Shelby Park. Uh, you see right there, it is going through j just south of the heart of downtown Tuscaloosa. Uh, this is where you drive over 359 down into town there, and uh, uh, you, you can really tell. Yeah, hang on right here. Hey, guys, we're seeing a lot of debris flowing up with this storm. We've now made it to uh, Highway 11, Highway 43, right here at 359. Uh, just approaching the downtown area, That's massive it. tornado now crossing that area. You should, you should be able to see it really clearly on the tower cam. Wait, even. Wait. I'm going to try to start my live stream here to give you a, a, a view from the opposite side of this storm. Massive, massive storm now making its way into the Tuscaloosa area. You know, Dennis th and Wes, you mentioned this. This is a right there by close to the police department, uh, yeah. the Tuscaloosa Police Department. Look at this. Uh, this is not not. Uh, this is going to be uh, just to the uh, just to the north there of the of the interstate. Uh, it's going to go very close to the the path of the uh, tornado the other day, just a little bit more toward the north as we're tracking this on tower I'm, cam. I'm, that's we're hearing a lot, watching, seeing a lot of transformers now blowing across the area as well. So a lot of power uh, going out right now. Storm now crossing 359. Seeing a lot of uh, uh, debris flowing up in the storm. A lot of transformers over there, as you mentioned, by the Tuscaloosa Police Department. Right there is 359 15th Street. If you're in that area, this storm now coming across that area. If you're over on the McFarlane Boulevard area, anywhere in that area, you need to go to your safe place right now. This is a massive, massive tornado. Yeah, this tornado right now looks to be right over, uh, you know, where Union Furniture uh, Company is right there on Greensboro Avenue by the train station. It's right over that area. It's going to be crossing behind or near Central High School and crossing uh, the Hargrove Road, uh, uh, probably uh, crossing very close to the bakery there on 15th Street and passing where Tuscaloosa Music is. Uh, it's going to be crossing uh, probably probably moving right over Midtown the way it's tracking right now. We talked about the Midtown Shopping Center uh, where you've got University Mall heads up and this will be tracking further along towards Kicker Road and quite possibly along Loop Road around the VA Hospital. So uh, Wes, I don't know if you guys can see my camera or not. The stream is up, but uh, we're on the back side of the storm and uh, it's just incredible the size of this tornado for the back end. We're still getting some of the we're getting some of the rain now on the back end of this storm as it's uh, starting to get wrapped in rain a little bit, but it is a massive tornado now making its way in through the Tuscaloosa area. This is going to track just to the south of Bryant Denny Stadium. You can see the stadium yeah. right there. Uh, this is uh, right, right there. Over the bakery. Yeah, right, right as we talked about, JP. We got nice drive into it. And we just lost our, our, our fiber Let's fold. Let's can we get Dennis's feet up uh, on that storm right there? Uh, I believe uh, we, we've got Dennis. We're still tracking that tornado as it moves through. Yeah, we're going to try to go down 15th Street to see if we can follow the storm as it makes its way through the Tuscaloosa area. I'm not sure what kind of debris we're going to encounter, but it's certainly a massive tornado uh, just ahead of us. Okay, what, what, what I want to do here, uh, since we, we lost that feed, we need to, to go ahead and, and track this. We've got a tornado on the ground here. This is right here around the University of Alabama campus. This tornado is moving toward Holt. Peterson and Brookwood. Here's the latest track. Ready. Basically right there at Bryant-Denny Stadium right now. It is moving toward Cottondale. It's going to be there within one minute. Peterson, four minutes. Uh, looks like Brookwood within 11 minutes. A dangerous tornado moving through Tuscaloosa. Basically right there at the University of Alabama campus. Uh, very close to uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium. And it is moving uh, toward the Brookwood area and also toward Abernant. Give it just a little bit of time. If you're in Peterson, if you're in Holt or Brookwood, make sure you are in your safe place. You need to be in your safe place right now. This is a dangerous storm. Uh, in fact, we lost our, our fiber feed from Tuscaloosa that was providing us with that tower cam image uh, just, a, just a few moments ago. We've got all kinds of issues out there. Uh, you can see the uh, transformers popping left and right. There's a latest track, Violent Tornado. Uh, uh, looks like uh, Fleetwood. It looks like Brookwood. Uh, Klondike within 12 minutes, East Brookwood 13 minutes, and North Alabama Junction within 14 minutes. Tornado emergency. What I want to do, uh, Fred, you're back in the back. Let's get in right through here. Hey, J uh, yeah. JP, uh, it looks like this is going to pass very close to where you and I were the other day, right there around Alberta City and DCH yeah. Hospital. Uh, it may go right across Tuscaloosa Middle School right there, according to uh, some of the tracks. Yeah, right there. You see that? Yeah. Tuscaloosa Middle School, River Road Northeast. And uh, we're, we're labeling it as many roads and communities as Crescent we can. Ridge Road around Holt. Uh, Holt State Road, route, uh, route uh, 215. Campus Drive on top of that. Third Street East. 
and uh, getting into some of these uh, individual uh, streets there. 15th Street East uh, moving toward the northeast right there. Uh, also, we got another confirmed tornado. This is uh, uh, near uh, Arkadelphia in Coleman County, uh, northeast at 65 miles per hour, southern Coleman County. Got another tornado report right there. Let's go ahead and go. Um, I tell you what, we need to look at uh, look at a couple of things at one time. Honestly, I, I tell you, Fred, if you could grab that on Viper. Uh, I want you to, uh, let's take a look at the uh, Coleman County tornado because we need to look at that. That storm is moving through Blount County uh, right now. It, it's southern Coleman County. It's right around Arkadelphia, uh, almost on the Jefferson County line. Storm's tracking at a very fast clip at about 65 miles per hour. We can punch that up on 5-6 Live Viper uh, real quick here. I want to hit that and we're going to get back into uh, uh, Tuscaloosa here. Uh, five six live Viper. Let's see if I can uh, if we can get Viper back into uh, the mix here uh, momentarily. Here we go. There's five six live Viper, Bluntsville, Cleveland, Locust Fork, and Hayden. We have got a confirmed tornado that's getting ready to cross I sixty five within just the next few minutes. Crossing I sixty five. This is going to cross just to the north of the Warrior area, moving toward Hayden, Bluntsville. Uh, within probably the next 20 to 30 minutes. So that's what we're looking at there. Uh, back toward uh, Coleman County, uh, or I should say Tuscaloosa County. We're going to get back to the uh, storm track there. And uh, Fred, go ahead and pull up the Tuscaloosa County tornado. We'll keep Coleman on Viper. Tuscaloosa will be on, uh, on the uh, fast track. Uh, right now. So we've got two uh, serious storms popping up on radar. And I want to let you know that storm that is in Tuscaloosa County, uh, this is right now around the Cottondale area moving toward Peterson, Brookwood, Abernant. This is going to move into Jefferson County. Uh, okay, that's going to move, uh, that's right around Cottondale right now. That's going to move into Jefferson County. So Jefferson County, West Jefferson County, I'm giving you a heads up right now on this tornado. Uh, Fred Hunter on the phone, he's at EMA right now in Tuscaloosa. Uh, they took a direct hit. Uh, Fred, what can you tell us? Uh, JP, can you hear me now? Yeah, I got you. Okay, great. Uh, JP, it was uh, southwest of us, took a bit of a right-hand turn, and then just as I was uh, speaking, uh, with Wes a second ago, and he was uh, uh, well, just a couple minutes ago anyway, we did take a direct hit. The roof is gone off the building now. Oh, Understand that the uh, EOC is underneath uh, our vantage point right now. Uh, because of the damage here, uh, photojournalist uh, Neil Posey and I are cut off from the rest of the building, and basically uh, we're not able to, to get out right now, so we're kind of... Uh, uh, hung up for a moment inside the uh, uh, this end of the building where we went out the back to uh, actually uh, try and get some, uh, some video of the storm. So we got that, and then the building did take a direct hit. We were underneath the stairwell, and uh, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, this was uh, quite a storm as it came through, and uh, we have not been able to determine how much damage has been done outside the building, J.P., uh, simply because at the moment, uh, we are trapped inside the building, obviously no electricity, and we are efforting to get outside the building and see if we can uh, get a survey of the damage that's been done here. So you're, you're painting a picture here. It's you and, and, and Neil Posey. You guys are trapped. You're in the dark. Uh, are, can, are you even close to any other, other people? Oh, yeah. yeah. A couple of the guys uh, that work here in the building uh, as well uh, actually kind of guided us out the back door so that we could see the storm as it approached, that way we were able to uh, to get away, uh, to get out the back door and actually see what was going on outside. Uh, but then the storm, as I say, uh, if it, it was just a direct hit, and now the roof is gone off the building. So uh, uh, we're not quite technically in the dark, JP, in that uh, we are getting light from outside, but it's coming through the roof, and uh, that's where I am right now. So uh, we're just kind of uh, uh, hunkered down and still in place here. Uh, and, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to get out very shortly because uh, if we are able to uh, defeat this footage, 
question for you about this. Yeah, yeah, Fred, uh, Wes here. I, I just want to, you, you, if you could tell us where the EMA building is. I know it was in the, in the downtown area, but uh, you're very close to, you're very close to uh, uh, the, the EMA building location. If you could tell us that one more time. That's very close to where the Tuscaloosa Police Department is, right? Uh, yes, uh, the, new, the new location is, uh, it, it was formerly, as you point out, Wes, uh, in Bull City Hall, uh, but now it is uh, actually located, uh, a lot of people are familiar with Calusa Avenue and 35th, 